Today's Awareness Breakfast, sponsored by the Community Networking Association, highlighted a variety of issues important to not just residents, but government, non-government agencies, and nonprofits. Issues such as homelessness, the struggling job market, basic health care needs, and much, much more were the highlights of today's event. We'll be covering events such as this one and trying to create awareness for not just the Community Networking Association, but all the agencies provided here today. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Fernando Uribe. Thank you so much for joining me here on the Uribe Society. For previous episodes of the Uribe Society, please go to Hudson County TV on their website, www.hudsoncountytv.com. Welcome back to the Uribe Society. I'm standing here with Ms. Kimberly Rock, the chairperson of the Community Networking Association. Ms. Rock, thank you so much for joining me here today. Um, what exactly uh, does the Community Networking Association do for our viewers who are not aware of this? Um, the Community Network Association, the CNA, basically we meet the third Wednesday of each month um, and we get together and we talk about the different um, activities and events and the different services that we have for the families in Hudson County. Uh, what's the single biggest issue you've come across here, again, as chairperson of the CNA uh, in trying to promote uh, the goodwill and the hard work that you're trying to convey to residents? Um, just trying to get more agencies to come out. Um, I think once, you know, there's a lot of agencies out there in Hudson County that still don't know about us. Um, we're trying to get the word out and hopefully with, you know, with this networking brunch we can get the word out and just having them come here because it's a slew of resources here for our, for our families that we serve. And once you get here and you network with other organizations, organizations, then you have the opportunity to take that information back to your families. Hello, we're sitting here with Lynn Pitts, representing the Jersey City Free Public Library. Ms. Pitts, thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, how important are these networking events uh, for not just your organization, the Jersey City Free Public Library, but for, throughout Hudson County? Well, it's, it's, it's critical because all of these agencies and all of the issues that these clients are facing are always interrelated. So you can deal with the health of, of one client, but you're not dealing with their social service needs. You can deal with their literacy issues, but they may be homeless. So you put all of these agencies in one room and you start to work on solutions that are more multidisciplinarian. And I think for us, when we talk about illiteracy, uh, every agency in this room has clients who are illiterate. They may not realize it because adults tend to overcompensate. If they've not learned to read when they're growing up, they are hardened, they, they fake it, uh, they hide it, and it's a tremendous amount of shame associated with it. So if they can become, if we can make them aware that illiteracy is probably linked to every issue they're dealing with. It's linked to poverty. It's linked to welfare. It's linked to uh, the prison system. Seventy percent of the inmates in our nation's prisons are, are illiterate. And so when you're dealing with ex-offenders who come out, they're no more literate than when they went in. That means they can't get jobs. They can't support families. Um, so when we come to an organization like this, a group like this, we can start to deal with the issue on a, on a lot of different levels. I represent the school-based youth services program at the Academy of the Arts at Henry Snyder High School. And our goal, our main mission, is to see the students achieve success. And success means graduating from school and leading healthy lives. Whether it's emotional health, physical health, we want them to be able to continue that and sustain it through the services that we provide. And also remove the challenges that they have, or at least help them work through them so they can be successful. Well, I am the president and founder of Universe Connect LLC, an evolutionary global arts mentoring company, and we are dedicated to empowering girls and women through literary, visual, and performing arts, emphasizing self-love, education, community, and entrepreneurship. And I came here today, just, uh, I've never been to one of these networking events. I heard about it from a DIFUS worker, a DIFUS supervisor, Ms. Anderson, and just really wanted to come and see what it was all about. Uh, it's the Hudson Partnership Care Management Organization. We manage the care and the services for children in Hudson County that have mental health and behavioral health needs. I came to the event because our goal is to connect our families to all these great programs that we're here today. Okay. Uh, what would you say has been the uh, biggest challenge you've encountered in dealing with such a sensitive population? It's connecting them. You know, they're really enclosed, they feel the stigma, they don't want to reach out to community, to their friends, even to their own family. So the biggest challenge is coming in and letting them know that it is safe and there are programs there that can help them. We sent a, child, a, a program that is actually um, um, geared towards Hispanic, um, the Hispanic community. And it is called the Child Advocacy Resource Association, also known as CARAS for short. And our mission is 
is to um, go out in the community and to recruit, train, and um, uh, retain uh, people in the Hispanic community who would like to become foster parents to assist with uh, children who are victim of the abuse and neglect and who are under the care of the state of New Jersey. I'm a coalition coordinator for Hudson County Coalition for Drug-Free Communities. Um, one of the needs we have right now is to actually collect data. So what we're doing is we're actually interviewing people and holding focus groups. Um, anything from parents to students, um, but also other sectors such as law enforcement, um, people who work in the religious uh, sector. I've come to the meetings um, in order to promote um, my um, job in Hudson County, which is the volunteer coordinator for Compassionate Care Hospice, which accepts terminally ill patients in um, Hudson um, County. Our office is located in Clifton, um, but we do cover Essex Union and Hudson counties. So one of the things is to get out there and promote um, to the people in the community that there is a service available to them, and the CNA has helped.